This week on Blip on Blip, we talk to Brooksy and we look at a show that's perfect for foodies. Hey guys, Annie here and you're watching Blip on Blip. Kelly and I created the show to give you an inside look at what goes on behind the scenes right here at Blip.TV. So we're getting some rain, which I would say is a lot better than snow. What's that saying? It's like February showers bring March flowers. I don't think that's quite right. Not yet, anyway. All right, enough about the weather. This week I caught up with Steve Brookstein to talk about operations. What exactly are operations? We'll find out. <laughs> Took us all day to plan that. <laughs> so I'm sitting here with Steve Brookstein, who is our EVP of operations. Hi, Steve. Good morning. Awesome. Thank you so much for being with us. It's great. Okay, cool. Let's start off like we always do. Why don't you tell us what you do at Blip.TV? Okay, well, that's Annie's a really good question. I think <laughs> probably the best way to answer that is to tell you what I don't do. Okay. And then I'll tell you what I do do. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't really work with our content producers. Okay. I don't work directly with our advertisers. Mm -hmm. I'm not an engineer or a developer, okay, so, so I don't have anything to do areas. with that. I know there are three <laughs> big areas, so you might ask then, so what do you do? What's um, left? Well, basically, you know, there's a lot in any business that keeps that needs to be done to keep the business running. Mm -hmm. um, one of the core focuses that I that I focus on is. Uh, really advertising operations, which brings mm -hmm. together, you know, we have the inventory, our, our producers produce these wonderful shows, right. and that creates the inventory by which we can go out and then sell advertising to mm -hmm. monetize that content. So that balance of supply and demand, and then in the middle, it all has to get scheduled and planned and executed. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of um, in large measure what I focus on. Okay. So you're like a, a master logistical coordinator of sorts. Of sorts, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I like to say, you know, somebody's got to keep the trains running. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's a lot of things that you do. What is your favorite thing about your job? I think the, the thing I like most mm -hmm. um, is working with people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always been in a role, I've been a manager for a lot of my career. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, this is such an incredible company, such a dynamic company, and you know it's a company that's going through a very interesting evolution as we grow and become um, bigger and bigger. And there's a lot of challenges to how to kind of overlay some process and rigor and discipline to the business, but doing that in such a way as to not what I refer to as not extinguish the flame. Yeah. The very essence and the entrepreneurial fire yes. that so it's it's an interesting balance to um, and I have had experience doing that. I've worked mm -hmm. in other startup companies mm -hmm. and so that's and basically that's working with people mm -hmm. and um, so that's where I get the, the most kicks at. Thank you so much for being with us. Steve. Oh, my pleasure. You're Thank great. you. Awesome. Thanks. Great coordination team. It took us nine hours to plan that attack and I think it went really well. Talk into the camera. <laughs> oh, I'm out. We've got a bunch of great shows here at Blip.TV, and each week we like to feature one that the whole office can't stop watching. This week, I want to talk about What's This Food? The same guy that hit the streets to review food trucks brings us another awesome show about culinary adventures. Day in and day out, Dan Delaney explains an unusual or uncommon food. Lotus root, star fruit, knish? I guess I'll have to ask Dan what a knish is. If you want to learn about all these foods and more, head on over to dandelaney.com slash WTF. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this week on Blip on Blip. You can catch us next Tuesday and every Tuesday after that at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you next week. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs>